Welcome to CarSeatBlog.com. Today we have a 2014 model Kleck Boom. What we're going to do is we're going to get it set up for rear facing. So I'm going to add the rear facing base and the anti-rebound bar to it. We're going to get started by loosening the harness all the way just to get it out of the way so that we can work on the insides right here. So I'm going to get this loosened and remove it. Now on the bottom of the seat pad, there are buttons that pop the seat pad so that we can pull it out of the way just like this. And then we also need to push the buckle through and set it aside just like that. That shows the insides where we're going to be working right in here. Next what I want to do is I want to recline the seat to position 3, which is basically all the way reclined. So we grab the recline handle, pull it, and slide it until it won't recline anymore. Next, what I want to do is I'm going to grab my recline base right here just to get it out of the way on the countertop. But I also like to work just with the seat all the way back like this. I think it's easier to do that than it is to take the seat and flip it over and try and get it. It's too much work. So I just do it this way. Now you'll see on the bottom of the seat right here, there are four holes on it, four squares. And then on the base, there are four corresponding tabs like that, and they fit together. So you just slide them together like that, grab the base, and slide it up like that until it locks. And you'll see it's on there really good. And next, you're going to put on the anti-rebound bar, which looks like this. Now, it goes into these holes right here, but I find it really difficult, for me at least, to try and jimmy it in there like this. I can't ever seem to find the right angle to get it in. So I like to set the seat back upright to do this part. And now, the anti-rebound bar is going to go right here. So I grab the anti-rebound bar, and one side always seems to go in much more easily than the other side. So watch that happen here. See, this side went in much more easily than the other side. There. But not too hard overall. So you'll see, I don't know how hard it is to see it here, but there's the anti-rebound bar right there and one right here. Now, the bar is held in with these locking pins. And they look like that. One's got a cotter pin and that holds it in just like that. If I were to let go of this anti-rebound bar, it would slide right out. So that's why these pins hold it in. These pins slide in right here through the holes right here. But you'll notice that the latch storage spot is kind of blocking where I need to put this pin. So you need to take your latch connector out so that you can slide this pin in. And once you've got the pin in on one side, the whole bar stays in. Then you can slide this little cotter pin in and it locks. But you also need to do it on the other side. Don't forget that side. So you do the same thing on this side. nothing to it at all. Very easy. Put that in all the way and it's locked in there nice and tight.
Next, what we need to do is if you're going to install the seat with latch, you just undo your latch connectors, straps, and thread it through the latch path or through the belt path. But I'm going to just put the latch connectors back and put the seat pad back on. Usually this goes in nice and neat, but you know, since it's a video, it's not going to work. So we'll make it do. Okay. So the pad just slides back on, put the buckle back through, nice and easy. Slide this back in, lock it back down, and there you go. Your seat is now set up for rear facing. Thanks for watching carseatblog.com.